Hi, so in this particular paper we're going to be working through around about grade C percentages. Um, now the first thing is, is that it is actually a calculator uh, paper and because of that it means then that a lot of calculations I'm going to be doing are going to be fairly straightforward and what I'll aim to do is just describe a couple of the calculations to you as we're working through it. Okay, so the first thing is, is the first question, which um, all of the questions kind of roughly follow the same sort of uh, format, where you've got a price for something, in this particular case £420, plus VAT at 17.5%. So the way I would do it is I'd work out 17.5%, so I've got 17.5%, of £420. Okay, now you can do that by plugging that into a calculator. Um, if you want to know how to actually put it into a calculator, probably the easiest way is to make it 17.5 over 100, which is the meaning of percent, and of means multiply, so that's multiply 420. And when you put that into a calculator, you should get an answer of £73.50. So that's would be the VAT element of this particular ring. If I add that then to the cost of the ring originally, which was £420, I get a total cost of £493.50. OK, you'll notice it is a two-mark question. So in a two-mark question, you need to really make sure that you um, earn those two marks, not by just working out the VAT, but by adding it to the original price as well. OK, on to the next one. So we've got this particular question, which is Wayne um, invites 96 people to an engagement party. Express 60 as a percentage of 96. OK, so 60 as a percentage of 96 is quite an awkward way to write a particular question. But what they're saying is, is that 60 out of 96, what's that? as a percentage. Well to work that out as a percentage you would multiply it by 100. Remember a percentage means out of 100 and if you work that out it'll come out at 62.5 percent. Okay so on to the next question. This is question two. A doctor has 12,000 patients. Goodness me. Okay, <laughs> that's a lot of patients. So, 4,560 of these patients are male. What percentage of these patients are female? Okay, always look out for bold text. They're giving you a bit of a clue with that particular question. In other words, what we have to say is that we have to work out, firstly, actually how many female patients there are. Well, the female patients will be 12,000 altogether. But we're going to take away from that the male patients, which is uh, 4,560. If we take one away from the other, I'm going to get 7,440. So in other words, 7,440 patients are female. And then the question is asking us to work out that as a percentage of the 12,000. So in other words, we're saying it's 7,440 out of... 12,000 altogether, what's that as a percentage? Well, all I would do is just simply multiply that by 100, and that will give me a percentage of actually 62%. So 62%, and that answers my question. Okay, I hope that's okay for you. Again, it's a little bit tricky just to work through some of the English, um, but also make sure that you work out how many female there are when they give you the number of male. Okay, so on to the next page, and in the next page we're going to talk about um, cleaning materials. Okay, and again a very, very similar question to the one that we had before where we're working out VAT at 17.5%, so actually all we're doing is we're saying what is 17.5% of £64? And again, if you want to put that into uh, mathematical format in order to plug it into your calculator it's 17.5 over 100 which is the percentage part of it and we're going to multiply that by 64 because the of in maths 
is a multiplication. Okay, if we plug that into a calculator, we're going to get £11.20. So in other words, the VAT element of this is £11.20. Need to add that to the original £64, and we get a total of £75.20, and that will give you the two marks. Okay. On to question four. I hope you're keeping up with this. Please do pause the video if you find that there's anything you're not particularly sure of. You can always contact me and I'll try to add a bit more explanation. But I'm very aware there's an awful lot of questions on this particular uh, paper. Okay, so 800 students at Pressfield School. 45% of these students are girls. Work out 45% of 800. Well, it's kind of irrelevant to you that we're talking about 800 students and 45% and Peter's Pressfield School. Not that relevant. All you're trying to do is just simply answer this question. 45% is exactly the same as saying 45 out of 100. And we're going to multiply that. Remember, of, same as we had before, of in maths means multiply 800. Plug that into the calculator and you should come out with 360. So in other words, 45% of 800 is 360. OK, in part B of this question, there are 176 students in year 10. Write 176 out of 800 as a percentage. Well, out of means fraction. So what we're saying is, is that it's 176 out of 800 and as a percentage is of 100. OK, again, plug that into a calculator and you should come out with 22. So actually 176 out of 800 as a percentage is 22%. OK, on to uh, the next page. And in the next page, we're going to be talking about Alistair selling books. OK, now this particular one is again very similar in the way that we've set out the questions before in that we're going to work out 17 and a half percent of um, seven pounds 60 and then we're going to add that to the original cost or the net cost of the book which is seven pounds 60 so therefore 17 and a half percent of um, seven pounds 60 and again put that into a calculator as something if you like the way i would do it would be 17.5% multiplied by £7.60 and that will give you a VAT element of £1.33. OK, so in other words, the total cost of each book is going to be £1.33 plus £7.60. So each book is a total of the two added together, which is £8.93. OK, now you will notice this is a four mark question, so it's going to take you a little bit of time to kind of work through. Um, just be very clear on what you're doing with uh, working through some of this stuff. Um, the, the bit that will make the extra marks on this is there's actually 1,650 books altogether. So if I multiply 1,650 by £8.93, I'm going to get the total amount of money that Alistair receives, which is an amazing amount of £14,734.50p. So obviously Martin is an extremely successful author at that sort of amount. OK, so what I've done there is I've multiplied each book, so my total is going to be £8.93 multiplied by £16.50, and that's the same as that total there. OK, so on to the next question. So we've got a hotel has 56 guests, 35% of the guests are male. Work out 35 out of 56 as a percentage. All righty. Well, it's the same as we've done before, really. Out of means a fraction. So we've got 35 out of 56, and it's as a percentage. Therefore, I'm going to multiply it by 100. Plug that into a calculator, and I'm going to get 62.5. So therefore, it's 62.5%. OK, now the next part of this particular question just makes it a little bit more complex. Um, but it's again, it's reading through a lot of the words themselves. It says 40 percent of the 35 male guests wear glasses. All right. Well, let's not worry about that. Let's just find out how many that actually means in terms of the amount of male guests. OK, so we're actually saying what is 40 percent? Remember, it's 40 out of 100 
of 35 and very neatly that works out at 14 so in other words the male guests that wear glasses is there's 14 of these male guests and sometimes these sort of questions it's kind of worthwhile not really worrying about the rest of the question it's kind of working out things as you go along and again bear in mind with this particular part of the question it's four marks and this whole question six is actually six marks altogether Okay, so write the number of male guests who wear glasses as a fraction of the 56. Alrighty, so in other words, it's as a fraction of the 56, it's 14 out of 56. And then to gain the extra marks, it's saying give your answer in its simplest form. Well, if I divide the top and bottom by 7, I'm going to get 2 out of 8. And if I divide the top and bottom by two I'm going to get one out of four so in other words the number of male guests who wear glasses as a fraction of the 56 guests is one quarter it's 14 that we worked out out of 56 altogether so 14 out of 56 very neatly uh, reduces down to one quarter okay so on to the next part of the uh, question papers on this particular part we've got um, a compact disc holder and again we're going to treat it in much the same way as we did before okay well what we're saying is the co cost of a compact disc holder is 25p John has 15 pounds to spend and this is one of these sort of small questions that they tend to slot in before they work out uh, percentages but um, it's, it uses roughly the same sort of principle. The greatest number of compact discs that uh, compact disc holders that John can buy for fifteen pounds. Okay. Well, in other words, if John has fifteen pounds and each compact disc is twenty-five p, the question really boils down to how many twenty-five p's are there in fifteen pounds? Okay, the problem you've got there is one's pence and one's pounds. So I'm going to change both to pence and I'm going to say, actually, what I want to know is what is 1500 pence divided by 25? How many lots of 25 are there in 1500 pence? And actually, there's 60 of them. So the answer to this particular question is 60. So just be very careful with these sort of things. You need to make sure you've got the same units each time. And when it says uh, things like out of, or you think of it as out of, think of it as a fraction. Okay, so on to question B. And what that says is a compact disc player costs 50 pounds uh, plus 17 and a half percent. So we're going to work out the total cost in the same way that we did before, where we're actually saying what is 17 and a half percent of 50 pounds. OK, and again, plug that into a calculator in the same way that we've done before. And we're going to get an answer of eight pounds 75. So therefore, the total will be the 50 pounds plus £8.75 and if I add that up I'm going to get £58.75 okay so the total cost of the um, compact disc player is £58.75 okay next little bit is we're going to look at working out 28% of 85,000 don't get too concerned about big numbers lots of zeros that sort of thing just the easiest thing with a calculator is you can just plug the number straight in. So we've got 28%, which is 28 out of 100. Of means multiply, 85,000. Okay, and that will give you a total of 23,800. So the 28% uh, of 85 grand is 23,800. Okay, and then final question, this particular section on this particular video, I decided I'm going to break this up into two different videos. So the final question on this uh, video is going to be 45% of 800. Well, again, similar to the previous question, you've got 45 out of 100 of 800. Okay, plug that in your calculator and you're going to get 360. So 45% of 800 is 360 pounds. Uh, 360. Okay, so that's the first half of this video. Um, it does get a little bit more complex in the next series of questions, um, but hopefully that's been okay for you. Please do contact me if you need any help or support. I look forward to uh, seeing you in the next video.